Hi guys, this will be my video for the best solo XP farming locations for the Lost Death Patch. But before we get into this video, I'd like to thank you guys for stopping by and consider hitting that like and subscribe button if you find anything in this video useful. Alright guys, I'm going to show you some useful items to speed up the XP gain as well. So first is going to be a Sigic Ambrosia. You can get these all the way up to a Mythic Ambrosia, but they get very pricey. Also, something you might al already have in your inventory that's going to be free to you is scrolls. And they can go from 50% uh, to 150% as well. Number three would be equipping training gear that's going to increase your XP overall. What also hurts your XP is having more people there present while you're farming, especially mobs. It's going to lower your XP by the amount of people that are there. Skills that you're going to want to use to increase your speed in DPS is pretty much any AoE skills. For example, Templars have biting jabs and or puncturing sweeps, and Magblades have sap essence, which in reality you can use anything when it comes down to that. I'm just anything that's going to be AoE and it's going to do damage. All right, so our first location is going to be Alakir's Desert. When you first travel to Alakir's Desert, you're going to want to type X, Y, or Z, something like that into the zone chat to join a group. If you do not receive an invite, don't worry though, you can still get the easy XP. You want to get these three way shines on the map unlocked so it's easy to travel to. If you're in a group, it's very easy to do this. All you got to do is travel to the player that's already at the dolmen, and then when they move, do the same exact thing. If you are not in a group, you can just run over and unlock the way shrine. Dolmens are very easy. All you have to do is travel to the dolmen, run up, make sure that you get at least one attack in, and at the end, you receive a chunk of XP. Then you run to the way shrine, travel to the next dolmen, and then rinse and repeat. It's a very passive, guaranteed amount of XP if the other farming locations are full of people. Because at the Dolmens, you do not lose XP if there are people present. Alright, so the next location is also going to be in Alakir's Desert. But this time, it's going to be the left part of Sentinel. Once you arrive, you want to pull groups of these zombies, group them together, and kill them. You do need to do small groups, though, so they don't de-aggro. You want to run this general circle, pull, kill, and repeat. Unlike the Dolmen Farm, if there are any other people here, it'll slow down your XP gain overall. There's also another location right around the corner with the same zombies if this place gets too crowded. And for our third location is going to be Spellscar. This location is in Craglorn. Spellscar is actually three locations since one. So if you farm at either three of the locations, you want to pick the one that has the least amount of people to farm at. If there's a few people, don't sweat it. Make sure your AoE hits everybody and you'll still get the XP. You are going to get lower XP because of the amount of people though. And there's also no rotation for every single one of these. It's usually a counterclockwise rotation. But as you can see on the map, this is the rotation for this specific one. Again, you kill all these, you do the rotation, and just rinse and repeat. It is a very easy way of leveling up. That's actually how I leveled up to 1400. Alright guys, I hope these locations will help you out with leveling up on the Elder Scrolls Online. Do make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you've hung around this long. Maybe for a future video, I'll do a duo or group XP farming locations. But thank you again for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day. See ya.